I'm Tracy. Um, I think I'll add this to another video, but anyway, I'm Tracy from the Mermaid Cove, and I'm struggling a little bit, but I thought I would take you along. I am making this Mongolian um, hamburger, so you don't have to use beef. It's called I Wash You Dry website. So I ground hamburger with um, garlic and ginger, but I only had ginger powder from Dollar, Dollar Tree, from Trader Joe's. So I'm just going to add a little bit more. This stuff is so good, and I never have ginger, so. Um, but it gives it that flavor. So, I've got this on a, like a, a little above a meat, a little less, uh, almost medium, not quite. So, the next thing you do is you take uh, amino, oh, I use amino acids, but soy sauce. Some hoisin sauce. Where's that lid? Wow. Yep, yep, yep. Everything feels a little bit like a struggle. Some brown sugar. And let me wipe this before I step into it. Okay. Then, um, so, we've got this going. We're going to add this in. And it's just going to simmer until I think we're going to do this about three minutes. And then we are going to um, add a potato. Well, it's supposed to be cornstarch, which is on my list and I haven't gotten yet, y'all. So, okay, so. I didn't have cornstarch, I used potato starch, and um, it thickened up really, really well. You see that? Look at that, it really thickened up. So I am gonna um, pour that in here. Give me a second. Okay, so I made the Trader Joe's Jasmine rice. Um, I knew I had that in my fridge, microwave three minutes, I can't imagine making rice any other way and then for the mongolian beef you're gonna um i'm just gonna add a tiny bit of hot pepper flake i don't like a lot i just like a little and then when you serve it you just kind of want to throw these on top so it looks pretty yeah so i'm gonna plate myself up some This is my clear Dollar Tree bowl. Just a little taste, a little bit of rice. Must be my breakfast. And then and we'll get some of this. Yeah, all right. Okay. And I wasn't sure about the corn star, I mean, the potato starch, but it makes sense, corns, potatoes, and, um. I got it for a recipe I never made, so I'm going to think of some things to do with it, but this worked out perfectly. I don't know how it would be in, like in cookies and stuff, but so good. And again, use less sugar, use more of this if you want, you know, I can taste the ginger. Those packets really work for me because I waste so much ginger. But I'm pretty sure somewhere in my freezer I had those little cubes of ginger from Trader Joe's. We will work our way down to them, y'all. So, it's a good, easy meal. And it's from the um, website, I Wash You Dry.
and um i just love her stuff and it always works out well i've never had anything bad from her so check her out if you're looking for male inspirations but i can 100 percent recommend this and it's just different it's one of the things after my mom left it's one of the things that <clears throat> i didn't want to just like make all the stuff that we always had so I started trying different recipes and when I stumbled on her website, <clears throat> excuse me, I had found it before because I made these really good rolls, uh, muffins for my, for it's cranberry, orange cream cheese muffins. Y'all, if you want to make a muffin, make those, those are good. So yeah, hello, hello. I'm trying to get back to doing these more often. I just, my brain is not, um, there's something missing from this Adderall. It's the generic that was helpful. <laughs> but you know what? I It is what it is. But I have to tell you, so yesterday, long story short, I had a package was supposed to be delivered overnight to a co-worker's because her husband was home. <clears throat> Paid $42. So it's to be delivered like on a Sunday. She calls me in a Monday and like it hasn't been delivered and it's disappeared from the computer system, right? And I think I talked about this because the lady at the post office was so nice. I tried to find her number. I don't know what I did with it just to thank her, but anyway, yeah. So I could get my money back, but they did it in Pennsylvania. So <clears throat> she had the receipt. And so I had a copy on my phone and I printed it out and, you know, and I've been putting it off, putting it off. You have to do it in 30 days. Now, my hearing, y'all, right now is, I don't know the function of the ADD and, well, yeah, I know. My brain has to be calmer to actually, I have mid-level hearing loss. So it, if not having my ADD medicine work or ADHD work well, it affects my hearing. So my brain is filling in stuff. So I remember my friend had said, yeah, she'll get a money order. And so I thought, okay, when I get this returned, she'll get me a money order to get the money back, right? 42 bucks, y'all, that's a lot of money. And so I kept putting this up. I was like, go today, just get it over with. So I went yesterday. People are so nice. And they're like, without the original street receipt and this other thing, we can't do it. So I go back and I thought, okay, the money will come to me in another way. That's just how I'm trying to see the world, right? See that, you know, you're in the flow of synchronicity and life and energy and what you put out comes back kind of thing. So, um, so I get back to work, I ran the grocery store, got a few things, and then um, we're having a party at work tomorrow. And I see I'm going on a tangent, but um, I decided I didn't feel like cooking, y'all. So I got Safeway, our Safeway has these really good homemade um, chips tortilla chips and they put Old Bay on it. It is so good, but it's not like overwhelming Old Bay. It's just a hint. And I got a couple dips and then I have some um, seltzer water. So that's my contribution. And yeah, I forgot. Anyway, I got back to work and I told my friend, I'm like, yeah, I, I don't tell them not to worry about it. I just can't. It's just not gonna work out. I had like four days left, right? She's like, no, no, she had, she did it. She got the money back. That's why she's sending a money order. <laughs> yeah. So the money did come to me differently than I thought. But I said to myself, self, Tracy girl, we are going to have to really honestly write the word, listen, I mean, I really need to calm down a little bit as much as is humanly possible um, and try to really listen and ask clarifying questions. When my mom was in the hospital and rehab, I had I made a huge sign, ask her clarifying questions. Ask her if to repeat back what you said to her. I mean, honestly, and here I am. Another weird thing is like, I get rashes here and it's always sort of muddled. I think that's skin damage, but I had a little bit of rash. My mom got this, y'all. And we don't know what she died of. Thank you to my brother. Anyway, so right now I'm having a little bit of salt water. It's a beautiful day here. Uh, my brain's like, oh, call in, stay home. No, 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 no. We're going to go to work. It's going to be good for us to be out of here. I got stuff to do there. But that's where I am. 
I'm just struggling getting up early in the morning. I mean, I didn't get up till like 7.20 today, y'all. And I know that's early for some people, but for me, to get what I want to get done, y'all, I'm trying to get up at 6, 6.30 even. And I'll try that tomorrow, 6.35. But yeah, but I want to get back to talking to y'all and posting and I got to, I still have my, so I guess it's holding my phone, but in work, like you all can't see. I'm mean, anyway, do men love women with gnarled up fingers? Do gnarled up finger women love men that or you know, anyway, so they hurt a lot, <clears throat> but I'm going to, um, yeah. And my iPad's driving me insane. But um, I'll live through it. And there's these free art classes. They end the fourth. So I've been watching them. There's this thing called Fodder School. And they, um, yeah. There's like three things I want to do. So I watched it again, made notes, took pictures. And I'm going to try to work on that uh, some Friday. <clears throat> but I need to watch another one again. But the idea is you make fodder, so you have collage papers, you have this, you have that. Now, I'm gonna move on. I wanna go see Barbie movie. I am gonna see Barbie movie. But I'm off Friday and Monday, and I told myself, you can go Monday. Number one, it's cheaper on Monday. They have 10.30, 11.30, amazing, right? So I might just go to 10.30. Um, I think it's $8 on Monday. And you know what, and kinda, not punish myself if I, but do some stuff Friday, like, okay, like when you're a kid, you get all this stuff, we'll take you to the movies kind of thing. A little bit like that. But I think Friday will be my day um, to stay home and get stuff done. I need to go to the food bank, so that might be my one thing, excursion out. And then I want to take this fodder class, fodder school too. I'm going to do all of them, but I, it's, you get 12 lessons, you're at your own pace. I don't, I'm not ready this year to keep up with it. And it would make me anxious if I wasn't keeping up with everything live. So, um, I want to do that, but there's certain things in my studio that I want to accomplish first. So I have a painting table where the sewing table is. And then I have, um, my desk. So what I finally decided is I need to take all the fabric into my garage. Now my garage is fine. There's no mice. I check all the, almost every day. And I spray this stuff where they were trying to get in before, where they were getting in before, just in case they remember. I would assume they're all dead now, maybe. I don't know. But I need to have like some stuff removed and anything holiday. And I'm thinking any of the empties I have, boxes, containers. Because if I need a container, I can go to the garage. So I'll organize the containers well, so I can just go, oh yeah, here, boom, boom, boom. So that's what I'm thinking. So I want to do some of that Friday um, because then I will have space to move around and really think about things. So that is that. I have a box started already. I was going through some paper punches and there's stuff I've just never used. And I thought, you know what? You can share this. I have some cardstock, um, Christmassy kind of cardstock. I kept some. I don't need all that. So I know Joe likes to make cards from the food bank. So anyway, um, and I'm alive and my hair's done and I got clean clothes on. So really y'all, how did you Claire's nails this morning? God, I don't know if I really am hurting her. I mean, I'm very careful, take the tip off, but she went like almost like the exorcist, but yeah. Anyway, that's where I'm at. I have a little Timu haul of stuff I found when I was going through my um, stuff. Ugh, it's a challenge, you guys. It truly is a challenge. But, seating myself is most important. So, this will be two, we're having a party tomorrow at work. So, it's gonna be good for today and Thursday, and then off Friday. So that's gonna work out good. I'm gonna make a spinach salad with some cucumber and blueberries. Just sounds like a good, you know, maybe a little bit of cheese cut up. So that's gonna be my other thing. I'm making up for two days. <sighs> yeah, so that's where we're at. So I'm gonna post this. It's gonna be a hot mess because I gotta stop saying that. It's gonna feel chaotic maybe because 
I didn't think it through quick. I, all of a sudden I'm like, well, I, well, you need to make this. Like, oh, I want to film it for people. So there we are. But I've missed talking to you guys. So I'm going to get back in the groove. When my alarm goes off, I'm like, you get up because you want to talk to people. You want to have time to do it. You don't want to have to like rush around and I don't like being late to work and so that's what's happening right now but I'm organizing my categories like things that are color paint that kind of thing fabric uh, kind of um stationary stuff stuff that I've gotten for like Sarah or fun stuff like that together um you know I want to start making some more books so um all kinds of one box of just papers that I can use you know it to form the book inside and then my goal is, um, so I'm going to work at least two hours in my um, studio on Friday. But I think what I'll do is get up early and move stuff out. I don't know what the heat's going to be like. I have to weed whack. Y'all, I have got to weed whack. Maybe let's see tomorrow, Wednesday. Maybe I can try to get up early and do it Wednesday. Take y'all with me. What's today? No, today's Tuesday, right? So that'd be tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yep. We're gonna weed whack. See, but then I come home and I'm off to the races. So let me, and I can't find my normal book or my calendar. So this is not shocking people. Dollar Tree, okay. We, oh my, I gotta put out ant traps too. Ants are in for some reason, ant traps. I like that, uh, the one begins with a T, Tara out there, little motel. So weed whack. I gotta pay my cell bill. Honestly, every day. And listen. Okay. Yep, you gotta pick your priorities, but I knew food was one of them. So I'm set for the next three days, so that's good. And, um,. Yeah, I've got two potatoes, so I might Friday make some french fries or something. And, uh, y'all, yeah. I didn't quite do every day for my graphic shirts, but I'm ready to wear something that's not, I mean, I wore them every day, but I didn't um, film them. And this beautiful print. How fun is this? So, yeah. All right, guys, you have a good one. And I'm going to try to post this before anything. Let's see if I do this. Anyway, love you. I'll see you soon.